Good morning, this is Zephy from I'm Zephy and I love to scrap. I was a very busy bee last night and um, this morning before I put this away I want to show you what I was up to. Um, when my s acrylic and rubber stamps started becoming a little bit uncontrollable I decided to store them in a, a binding in a folder with a binding ring and this was um, one that was lying around from the children's school files or university files and the sleeves were in here already so I thought what easier so I started putting uh, the acrylic stamps in the sleeves but what was happening the smaller the smaller stamps for instance like this would all um, come down to the corner and then it would all bundle up in the sleeves in the one end and this would become very bulky and uneven so um, I progressed to the next step and then I thought well hell why don't I just um, machine a seam down the center of each sleeve and then um, the stamps will each have their own compartment which worked relatively well but um, the stamps that were in, um, for instance, this stamp here, can you see, is between two acrylic sheets. And I like it that way because it's got small bits and I think that it's more secure and the little bits won't fall out of here. But then the stamps that were still in their packets, for instance, like this Inka Dinka Do stamp, that needed to go into this side. This would fall out because it was it was smooth so every time I lifted the file this would fall out so it was starting to irritate me and um, then I came across these file these folders over here let me just open it so I can show you what it is exactly it's a little envelope with a closure so uh, stuff will not fall out of here and then at the bottom of it, it has the punched out holes so that it can fit into a binding ring. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, that is perfect. So um, I've put some equally on each side of this folder. I need to go and get a couple more. I bought 20 last night, so I'm a bit short. And they had white ones and pink ones, so or red ones. So what I've done is I've put the few Christmas stamps I have in the red ones. You see I need one more for that stamp there. And then at the end here I've got the stamps that I don't often use which is like baby and birthday stamps. These will all need to still be put in here. And then on the other side On the other side I've got my red stamps and you can see I've got the, the little clips in these are all facing this way and these are facing that way can you see so that I can open them easily and in here I have my Tim Hole stamps okay another problem I had because these rings are very long the cover of this book, <clears throat> when we used to close this book, or this file, can you see this cover was longer because it needed to cover everything. It actually, you have the spine and then this. So when I was opening, when it's lying flat, When it's lying flat, it's equal to the um, sleeves. And I never close it. So this, this long piece was jutting out on the other end of my expedite shelf. And on the other end, I have a shoe cabinet. And it was knocking it over all the time because it was jutting out. Or if, say, I had a wall there, then it wouldn't fit. So I snipped this off. I snipped it off completely. You'll see on the bottom edge these like metal beading and what I did was I and I'm just telling you so in case you want to do this I just took a very cheap one of my cheap um, cutters I, I poked the blade in underneath 
the metal very carefully and I just lifted it open on both sides and I bent it straight and then I took my metal cutter and my steel ruler and I, I cut off this ledge I just cut off as much as I measured it and I saw what I wanted to cut off and then I carefully bent back the metal and um, pressed it down with my pliers and then you can see I've just added two strips of washi tape here so that it doesn't um, hook onto anything okay and then I needed a second ring because this was getting too full it, it, it could take a bit more but it, it, it had become heavy and um, these ringing uh, little rings were getting all skew so I um, then proceeded to make myself a new file which is this one here um, there we go I used my Tim Holtz binding rings and I used a bit of board that my Expedit, my Expedit was packed in some very nice clean cardboard so I just cut some of that up and I made another file um, what I've done here now is these are the smaller stamps I've sewn a seam down the center of each little envelope I just started from that middle hole and I worked up to the stud so these are now all the, the, these are still tall so they don't have a seam but all the other stamps are in here with a seam Okay, I'm going to flip you around so I can show you where I see this stuff. On the side of me here, I have my Expedit. Can you see? This over here is the new one. And I've, I've let this jut out so that I can get this from here. And then I get the rest of the stuff around the corner. But what happens is, I put, I put these files in with the stamps that I use the most facing outwards. So this goes in here like this and so I can just open this and pull these out and then what I have done is this is Prima um, London market stamps I do I keep the little board in here so that I can remember what they are because I forget I don't know why this is giving me problems there we go okay and, and this is actually why this whole system started because I had bought these stamps from blade rubber stamps and you can see all those images they unmounted stamps so you need to cut them out so there were lots I keep the little little bits in envelopes like this and um, this is how the system started with this set here so they're all in here and it, I think it, it works well because it's on hand. If things are far away, then I don't, I don't go to them. I forget about them. And then I can just get the others out from here. And it, I must admit it was working much better when I only had the one file. But now I've got two. And then this one goes on top of it. And um, these are all the Tim Holtz that are handy, which are my first choice. So they go in there. And while I'm at it, I'll quickly show you. This was how I originally had my small stamps. It, it was a little a binding method that Marion Smith had showed us once. And it's in little CD holders and that's all the small stamps and as you can see i need to make myself a second one okay girls that's it for now have a good day it's the middle of the week enjoy 